Just cuddling though. We're saving ourselves for marriage. We've been saving ourselves for a long time. <laughs> Good morning! What are you doing, Dewey? Editing the vlog! That's what I do. What are you doing? We're getting married tomorrow. Can I paint my nails in Dana's van? You can do whatever you want. That's right. You guys have fun. Dewey's walking around like a person now. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm a person. I'm oh, there's Bubba. Okay, bye. Give me a kiss. So I'm going to Target because I might want to get like some. Wow, this thing is really close to my face. I think it's like cold out and I kind of want to get some tights, not tights, but you know, like the legging things that you wear under a dress that are like tan that make you look like you're not super freaking pale. I might want to get some of those. And my shoes that I have are flip flops. I don't know if I really want to wear flip flops. So I might find some like flats, I don't know. I'm just going to look around and then I have to go to Xfinity which is Comcast which I just need to ask them if the router that we have if we can just take it to Arizona with us or if I have to like return the one that I have and then get a new one when we get in Arizona I gotta figure that out I gotta go get money orders for our apartment complex remotely I envisioned for shoes for this so whatever I'm just gonna go to the bank which is right for that all right so I might actually go to a couple more stores <laughs> and just see if I can find some shoes just because it's cold and I don't really want to wear flip-flops on my wedding day I know Derek's gonna like be whatever when he watches this and edits it like my dress is kind of like off-white offish white and my shoes are really really white so it's my wedding day like I can do whatever I want so I'm just gonna go to a couple more stores see if I can find some shoes yeah man-made see like these are cute but they're so tall I'm terrible at walking in heels they're pretty tall they're vegan though so proving to be a massive fail I'm gonna go to a consignment shop see if that's open if they don't have anything I might go to Nordstrom Rack then after that I'm gonna go home Derek's gonna be like where the fuck were where were you because I've been gone for a while okay I give up every place is like not open yet I am too impatient to wait for it to open and it's like hard to find shoes because it's fall so all anybody has is boots so i'm just gonna wear the shoes that i had because like even if i did buy shoes i'd never wear them again it'd just be a waste of money it's so hard finding vegan shoes because everything's made with leather whatever whatever hey dewey all right so we got some kind of lunch brunch action going on here i have some old white rice mixed Refried beans, corn, some rice vinegar, some Old Bay seasoning. Hannah's cooking up some rice there. I think I'm gonna put some salsa, some romaine hearts in there. Hannah's got some mushrooms going on. Yeah. I have to stay away from those. I'm allergic, I massively know. allergic. I just don't like them. <laughs> They're just the worst. Whatever. Baba is making sure nothing um, hits the ground in the kitchen here, so he's just standing guard. That's his job. He's a little Hoover vacuum. Anything to do with food, Bubba's Bubba. Your man. Bubba is your man. Or anything that resembles food. <laughs> Doesn't have to be food. It's bullshit, Dewey, isn't it? Bubba. You're just always looking. All right, so it is the day before our wedding, and we're not doing anything special. Just playing Skipbo, which is like a game from like this. Like when is it from? Like the 80s or 70s or something? Who knows? <laughs> it's such a simple game. It's fun. But it's, I don't know but it's fun. It's like a dick thing. And then we get in competition with each other, trash talking, 
It's just like, it's a jolly good time. We don't need much. As you can see, we just can sit on cushions and be Play happy. a game that I've had since I was like seven. Try to balance our internet time with actually like talking and being people. Cause social media is so terrible. We just watched Fed Shores' Nina and Randa's dad's video about Asina and I'm just like, I'm just really pissed off, honestly. Like, yeah. It's just annoying at this point and it's just like, it seems like it's all for attention. I am allowed to be mad about it. Cause it's just very annoying that like, somebody is that manipulative, dishonest, honestly. Especially, it's just like mainly about how she's lying about the, the one photo that's called effortless and- uh, Yeah, the whole video is pretty much just how she was like, it took two to three hours to shoot this one photo and there was a photographer and there was editing and there was hundreds of photos and Nina and Randa's dad goes through all the photos because Nina and Randa had them all, which is like, why would you use that photo after Nina and Randa just called you the f out in a video? Like, why would you yeah. use that photo when you know that you're lying about it? He goes through all the photos. There was six total photos. It took nine seconds from the first photo to the last photo. There's, there's no, no there's no editing or anything like that. It was essentially the same photo. It was Randa. Yeah. It's just like, oh, poor me. I have to shoot for three hours on the beach to like promote this. Yeah necklace that I made $600 off of. And then oh, call well. everybody on social media who does that fake. Yeah. And it's like, that is fake, lying about that. Especially mm -hmm. after you've had this epiphany and you're now so spiritual and all about, you know, not getting likes and attention when it's like, clearly if you're lying about something that bad, you're doing it for attention. Just watch the video, we'll put the link below. It's just mind blowing. And people will say like on my video, that I am just being a bitch about the whole Cena thing. And I'm like, I didn't say one negative thing about Asina. I was just saying that she shouldn't get off social media, that she can make so much impact and all this. I didn't say anything bad about her. I still like, I just think she's kind of lost and she just wants attention, but she doesn't think she wants attention, but she really does. And she's very confused and she shouldn't be leading anyone in the position that she's in. Yeah, Whatever. I agree. <laughs> it's, it's literally like, upsetting because it's just like, it's kind of like she just played us all for, I'm this poor little girl who like has to take all these photos and like yeah. I had all this trouble and it's like after that video, it seems like everything she's ever said is just a total lie. So it's like, right. why would we believe anything that you have to say ever? I was telling Derek the other day, I'm like, I bet you in three months she'll be back on social media. It's like now I would never get back on social media. like. Yeah, when you've been outed like that, like in Jeff's video, then it makes I, you look absolutely terrible. And so. you look stupid for using a photo when clearly like she used that photo, she made that video after Nina and Randa made the video calling her out. Yeah. So it's like they took that photo. Why would you use that photo when you know you were lying yeah. about it? Clearly. And then she was supposed to be on Good Morning America and she didn't go. And she was bailed. She, did, she, bailed, she bailed on that, so that's kind of weird. Whatever. Lots of weird stuff happening and. It all just seems like a huge, it does seem like a huge hoax and it's like all for attention. Whatever, poor Asina. <laughs> poor Asina, let's support her by sending her some money. She's just so inspiring. I just can't get over yeah. it. Yeah. I'm so inspired. Good all right, time. let's play some stuff. <laughs> I won the first game. So we're gonna do the second game. And uh, we'll probably do best best set of three because that's usually how it goes. What do you got here? Ketchup, fries, and you got sauce. curry powder on the fries. Very cool. This is our pre-wedding pre -wedding night dinner. Yeah. Why would it change, eh, there, Bubba? Oh, Bubba, no. as per usual, is trying to get some. All we have is fried potatoes left. In the fridge, we have nothing. We have nothing in the fridge. <laughs> it's pretty I barren. Just, well, I'll show you later. <laughs> so we have potatoes and we have rice, and that's it. And we have sauces. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Curry powder. Definitely, like, such a good seasoning on them. And I just got a mixture of ketchup, barbecue sauce, and some hot sauce. What are you guys feeling? Derek's picking up all the dog poop. This is why I don't grab bags on the way in, because then he just picks it all up. You're just a little 
<laughs> Cute thing, aren't you? Yeah. It is getting late. It's as dark. you can tell how dark it is out here. And we're with these two little munchkins right here. Do we? <laughs> it's the funniest when he tries to when he gets on top of Bubba. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. Cause he like rides him like he's a choo choo train. Or <laughs> yeah. He's just like yeah. <laughs> on top of him. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna go home, play some more Skippo. Hannah wants to redeem herself. Yeah. And we're just gonna have a quiet night in cuddling and be ready for the yeah. big day tomorrow. Just cuddling though. We're saving ourselves for marriage. We've been saving ourselves for a long time. That's why we're getting married so quickly because yeah. we're, we're just, just saving, saving we're, ourselves. We're very religious and we're saving ourselves for marriage. Yeah. <laughs> why are you laughing? It's not funny. <laughs> it's more Derek's belief than mine. I like, <laughs> you can save yeah. yourself. I can wait. Can wait. So tomorrow's vlog is going to be very... It's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of video shots tomorrow and a lot of high quality videos, so it'll be very, very good. Don't cry. Yeah, don't, no It's cry. so funny because I've cried at every wedding I've ever been to and I was like, always imagine like myself getting married and stuff and I'm like, I'll probably just blow my eyes out, which I guarantee I won't cry because I think it's, every bride I've ever talked to, they're like, it's different when it's you because you like know the person so well and you love them so much, but like for seeing it from the outside, you're like, it's the most beautiful thing ever, but from the inside, it's like, <laughs> you know, I think anybody who's ever been married would know because it's beautiful to imagine the love that someone else has, but when you know that it's like your love, you're like, it's just, we just love each other, like, yeah. Exactly. But it seems like a fairy tale and like magical when it's somebody else and you're like, I can't wait till the day I get married. Like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> at least that's how I've been at every wedding I've ever been to. Okay, you guys right, can't guys. see us anymore. So. Yeah, so I think maybe we'll bid you farewell. I have to go pick up my dry cleaning still. Just leaving it to the last minute. Alright, have a good night guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.